And here we are, our daily bread is back. It's Tuesday. God bless you, my friends. Brother Art here, Regal Ministries. You know what we do each and every every weekday. I guess that's what we call it. Monday through Friday, every weekday. Uh, so our daily bread. This is Regal's daily inspiration. We hope to encourage and inspire you uh, when we get together for a few moments every day with God's holy word. What's our goal? I shouldn't have to repeat it, but this could be your first time checking in with us. Our goal is for you to open up the Bible on your own. Please don't underestimate the power of God's word. All you have to do, it's very simple. All you have to do is flip it open. If you ever thought like this, and I'll say this briefly, of course, because of time, when you pull in your yard at night and no one's been home all day, when you walk uh, on your stoop, on your deck, on your front porch, before you enter the house, before you put the key in the door, for the most part, your entire house is completely dark. So the first thing you do before you enter the home or as you enter the home is you reach in and you flip the light switch. You've done it so many times before. It doesn't need to be rehearsed. So you, it, you don't need to remind yourself. You reach in and you cut on the light. Here is the reason why. It's very, very difficult to walk through your home. Though you might be familiar with where things are, it's very diff difficult to navigate through your home in darkness for safety reasons and just because it's available. You turn on the lights so you can see. Flipping open that Bible every day. It exits the darkness out of your life. And it allows you to see the world from God's perspective. Through the light that he's provided for both you and I to have. And that life is found in the Gospels, the Gospels of Jesus Christ. I encourage you to read your Bible. I encourage you to open it up. I encourage you to turn on the light in your own personal life. God, we thank you for today and thank you for your continued encouragement and your love and the guidance that you set before us. May our eyes be open wide to your truth because your truth is the truth that matters, not the truth that's spoken uh, by the world, as well as the truth that's spoken by many of our neighbors. But your truth, what it has, what it has done for us is unlike any other truth. Because the truth that you give. It sets us free. We exalt you only and we praise you only because through you, we have the key to be free. Bless your name, Lord, this day and all. Amen. Today, briefly, briefly, I believe we need to hear this because uh, I, I spoke a few weeks ago about reminders. We, we come every day to encourage. We come to inspire. Sometimes I come to challenge you, especially on Fridays. But today, I think there's a need with the turmoil that's taking place in the world today. I believe we need a reminder. I believe I needed one earlier, and I think you need one too. And here is the reminder that I want to share with you today. Here's a reminder that God's placed in my heart to share with you today. The reminder is, is that you are a winner. You are a winner. That's something you need to digest. That's something that you need to accept. And you need to hold on to that. Because the world that we live in today, the world spins every waking moment it has to remind you that you are not a winner. The world does things and the people in the world, they try to redefine who you are. And unfortunately, many of us, maybe not you, but your neighbors, your friends, your coworkers, even your family, many of us, have unfortunately accepted the redefining of our character and our, our identity that the world has given, that the world has pressured into our beings, that we are not winners. When in fact, 
You are. We are. We are winners. You see, everything that the world has thrown in your way. Last year. Earlier this year. Last month, last week, yesterday, this morning, every single thing that the world has pushed against you to stop you from getting to where it is you were destined to be. Every single thing you've overcome. You want to know why? Because you're here watching me because you're listening to me right now. A nobody who also has overcome. We've overcome together. Our testimony, the blood has brought us into victory. Both you and I, we are winners. Everything he's done to you to keep you from getting to where you are today. Guess what? You made it. You're there. Every single thing that happened at work today that wanted to lead you to back to a dark place to make you use foul language, to have you suck your teeth and roll your eyes, to have you walk out on your job. Guess what? The strength that God placed in you, you remain steadfast. You want to know why? Because you're a winner. Everything that has broken your heart, every disappointment that encouraged you to go to the liquor store, that encouraged you to go find the drug dealer, to encourage you to get in your car and drive away and not look back. Guess what? These are the things the world has established against you and you did not fail. You won. You are a winner. Despite of uh, the odds that are against me and the odds that are against you. We need a reminder once in a while. Sometimes we do need a pat on our back to just say that all these things that the world has established to hold me down, to set me back, to grind me into the ground so that I'm forgotten about because nobody cares. God took that same thing that was meant for evil, that was meant for hate, that was meant to defeat me. And like the grand potter he is, he reshaped it, he reformed it on me, in me, and in you, and on you. Where once the world wanted to put a nameplate and a label on you as a loser, but instead... My friends, you are a winner. You're a winner because I'm looking at you. You're looking at me. And in a moment, you're going to go to the bathroom and look in the mirror. And it doesn't matter that I see you. What matters is that the reflection in the mirror is the image that God sees. And what God sees in you. He sees a winner. So today, what I like to do briefly is thank God for making us the winners that we are. Thank God that he has given us the lane and the opportunity and the privilege. It's an honor to be a winner. I want to thank God and I want you to thank God with me. What I want is for us to thank God together. Let's look at scripture real quick, if you don't mind, and we'll close. It's 1 Corinthians 15, 57. It says, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory. Pause. Let's thank God together for giving us the victory. We've won. The world is against us. That will never stop. That'll never, ever end. The ruler of the world, though Jesus has dominion back, he's still out there. That enemy is still lurking. He's still crawling and he is still plotting and planning. And he wants both you and me 
because we are not his possessions. Why would he want a loser? Why would he want someone who he already has? He wants those who have overcome. Who has allowed God to redesign them. And he wants those who are openly and publicly thanking God for making them a, vic a victor and not a victim. But how do we get it done? What are we thankful for besides the victory? Who gives us the victory but beyond God, so to say? How does God give us the victory? Through our Lord Jesus Christ. God loved us enough because the world's, the world's desire is for us to lose, is for us to fail, is for us to go down in defeat. But God said, no. My people will win. All they have to do is believe in my son. Because you believe. That is the one ingredient necessary. That takes you from being defeated. To now having you stand in the victor's lane. Please accept today that you are a winner, that you are a victor, despite the circumstances you've gone through, because those things are in the past. The future is in front of you, but here is what's most important. By accepting him, Jesus is standing next to you. This is our daily bread winner. Join us every day, Monday through Friday in this a responsibility I like to give to you as a winner. Share the message. Not, not for me. Not for me. I'm doing my part by doing this. Here's your part. Share the message because there are many, many people walking around with their heads down. And we can't see how beautiful they are or how handsome they are. We can't see that our friends reflect the image of God like we do. But maybe they need a reminder too. Maybe they need to be reminded that they too are winners. So now that you know, let someone else know. Spread the good news. Just like God had created us, he's created them too. And all of us together, because of Christ Jesus, we're winners. God bless you, my friends. I love you. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you tomorrow on our daily break. Take care.